Traditionally, collecting user feedback has been an expensive and time-consuming process, but with four screens and Gauge 4, it's easy and user-friendly. During the following couple of minutes, I will show you how to create online survey that will rock with completion rates. The most cost and semi-effective way to get feedback from the customers is an online survey. To start creating your own with Engage Form, let's sign up for a free account with clicking into this yellow button. What you can do for free is create unlimited Engage Forms. Not only surveys, but also quizzes and pools with unlimited questions and then export the answers for further processing. Moreover, you can embed your survey wherever you want. For example, to your website or send it with your newsletter. Now, let me walk you through the process of creation of one of the pre-existing surveys about the Thai restaurant, which you can find in my Engage Forms hub. The purpose of this survey is to get customers' feedback on what is working in the restaurant and what isn't, what is the best and what needs prompt action. You can use surveys to engage your audience online, collect feedback and present target offers or get Facebook likes. Ok, so once you sign in, you'll see four screens have with all of your forms. Just click on Add New Engage Form. Then you have to choose what you want to create. Is it a survey, pool, outcome or maybe a score quiz? Let's say the typical title for a survey would be Who is your favorite Harry Potter character? When users would have to fill in the questionnaires with writing. Typical title for a pool would be which Harry Potter character is the best magician, where you could measure the preferences of different users. When thinking about score quiz, you can imagine something like how well do you know Harry Potter? And finally, you can choose outcome quiz, which is typically associated with questions like which Harry Potter character you are. For the purpose of this video, I will walk you through the process of creation of the first one, a survey. To choose other tutorials, just click on their annotations right now. Give your survey a title like the example and let's go to the first screen, welcome screen. Here you have to enter the title of the survey and optionally add the description and the picture. You can use the description to write about the purpose of the survey so it can help the respondents to come up with the most suitable answers. You can customize the look of your survey in 100% to make sure that it fits your need. You can upload and attach images to every question to match your style. Remember that the interesting content will just engage people more. Remember that you can get rid of your welcome screen simply by clicking the X button next to the title. Now, let's move to the questions. On the left side, choose Add Question and then you will see a screen where you have to select the question type. Let's start with a multiple choice and add our first question, which will be What did you like the most? Then the answers. Remember that easy, swift and short questions won't make the user tired and will bring you the best results. What is different when you're adding picture choice is that you can add pictures to each of the answers to make your survey even more engaging. You can twine the question types while extending the quiz to make it unpredictable and interesting. Of course, still you can add some caption under the picture. The third type of a question is a rating question. What's interesting here is that you can easily measure users' feeling towards the brand, the product or the place, like the restaurant. You can decide which of six rating symbols fits the best and change the rating value from 3 to 10. Don't forget to describe the horizontal axis as well. The fourth and the last type of a question is called forms where you can easily ask your customer or user to share their opinion, email address or phone number. It is a great way of collecting leads and many of our customers are using forms to grow in their mailing lists. They simply put the screen like this before revealing the outcomes. 
you can export your responses and integrate them into your email service provider or mailing automation software to send personalized offers. To finalize your survey, add an end screen with a thank you message. You can also add an exit link to send the user directly to your website or to personalized offer in your web store. This is a great way to show you the potential buyers that you made an effort presenting products that are only in line with the customer's need. After adding a few more questions and deciding that the draft of the survey is ready, we can move to the next tab, design. You can customize the look of your survey in every detail, like font, background image, positioning or color used in each place. You can also use some predefined themes prepared by our team. When the survey is done, you're ready to share with the world. You can have an embed code, a link or a QR code. Remember to test if everything works fine with the survey in the preview mode. You can easily switch between three types of view on desktop, tablet and smartphone. But no worries, all of our survey and quizzes look stunning on every device. Don't forget that even when the survey has been published, you can go and edit whenever you want. It's also worth to stick around those settings to track the performance of the quiz and analyze its results. Moreover, you can check how people are answering on each question. In the end, I want to underline the fact that almost all of the features that I mentioned today are free of any charge. You can create unlimited engage forms like surveys or quizzes and distribute it wherever you want. You can embed your quiz into your website and start getting customer feedback today. If you need any assistance or have a question, don't hesitate and send me a message. You will get a reply as soon as possible. Happy quizzing!